Hey guys, I'm Biz and welcome to your third Java Swing tutorial. Now in this tutorial I would be talking about layouts and also how you can add different components to your frames. But before that let me just go over some of the methods that Eclipse creates by default for you. Now the first one of them is the set default close operation method. Now this method is used to set the operation that would happen when you click the close button. So let me just run the application. So as you can see, my application has a close button, right? So this method is used to specify the operation that would happen when I click this button. So when I click this button, my application closes. And that's what I've specified over here. I've specified the operation as jframe.exit on close. So as soon as I click that button, exit my application. So after this is the set bounds method. Now this method takes four arguments. The first two arguments are the locational arguments and the second two are its size. Now the location means that its location starting from the top left corner. Now this is 100 and this is also 100, right? The first one is the location in X axis and the second one is the location in Y axis. So if I run this, my window comes at this location. So this is like 100 pixels from the top and 100 pixels from the left. Now if I change this to like 200 and this to 300 and I save it and I then again run it, see it's in a different location because right now my application is 200 pixels from the left and 300 pixels from the top. Now the second two are its size. So as you can see it has a width of 450 pixels and a height of 300 pixels. So again if I change it to like 600 pixels and I run it, you see right, its height has changed. So this method is used to set that where your application is going to appear on the screen and also the width and height of your application. Now after this you can see that we have created an object of the class jpanel. Now what is jpanel? Well jpanel is actually a placeholder for different components like different layouts or components like text fields, buttons, all of those components are contained in a jpanel and every jframe that you create has a jpanel by default but that jpanel does not contain any of the components right because if you run our application you can see it's completely blank. It does not contain anything. So the panel of this JFrame is blank. But suppose I want to add something to this J panel, like if I want to add a button over here, I want to add some fields over here, then what I'll have to do is I have to create a new object of J panel. I have to add all those components to that object. And finally, I have to change or I have to update the J panel of this J frame with the object of the panel that I just created. So that's why I create an object of the class J panel over here. And finally I set it. So these are the functionalities of all these methods that Eclipse creates by default. Now let's just go into the design panel. Well, let me just adjust the size to something visible. Man, I'm really bad at this. Okay, that's it. Now here, let me just show you how you can add different components. So first of all, let me just add a layout. So absolute layout is the easiest to work with. Now here, unlike Visual Basic, you won't have to drag any of the components. What you do is you first click them on in the palette. And finally, you move your mouse on your frame and you again click. And this is how you add a component now first time I added a layout now let me just add some other components like a label a button or anything like that so any of these components you can add and you can add them wherever you want because this is an absolute layout so this is how you add components from palette to your JFrame now in the upcoming videos, I would be using much more components to build 
application that would have a meaning unlike this one where I've just you know randomly added some components so that's it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one